topic. Um, we, I know like a lot of libraries, our library is ramping up assessment efforts in the area of instruction and a whole lot more. What does it mean to do assessment? Jan Zhu Ha, professor and reference librarian at the MSU Library, is going to help us think about that and facilitate discussion and uh, teach us some new needs. Thank you, Marianne. I'm really happy to be asked back because that means I didn't really annoy anybody too much the last time I was here. Um, I want to also do truth in advertising, which is that I am not an assessment expert by any means. I don't have the title of assessment librarian. Um, what I have done is led an assessment effort that was pretty major in our library to assess our library commons, the new area that you guys have all seen now where we redid the whole first floor. And I worked on that um, last summer and fall with a group of people. So I'm kind of scratched from that. I'm also starting to work some on instruction assessment. But I also want to tell you that although the title says Assessing Library Instruction, I want to stress that and more. Because I'm really not talking specifically about a, a certain type of, of assessment. Um, I'm, I'm doing something a little bit different. And what I, what I hope that we'll do here today is basically have a conversation because I am guessing that many of you have a lot of assessment experience. I'm also guessing some of you have no assessment experience. So we have everything in this room, I would think, um, from beginner to expert. And so I'm hoping that we will have a major conversation where we get to share some ideas. That's one of my goals. I want to start with a sort of broad why and what of assessment and then open it up for discussion at the tables and then as a big group discussion. And then end with starting points and resource options. Uh, again, sort of a, a input time for all of you as well. And I really feel as if you all should interrupt me at any point, please. Because that's, you know, we're, we're here to talk to each other, not to listen to one person. Um, and, can you hear me? Yes. Everybody in the back, you can hear me? Yeah. Anita, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Good. I'm going to pick on the poor people that I do know in this room. <laughs> <laughs> but we won't call you a loud librarian. All right, so why assess? Uh, this is a big term right now. This is uh, something we're seeing a lot of in the literature for academic libraries, college libraries, libraries of all kinds, and our institutions that we're embedded in are all very concerned with assessment, room economic climate. Money is always a great motivator for assessment. Um, and as Ortiz and Bayer, Boyer say, assessment has to include looking at your weaknesses as well as the really nice things that are going on. I think a lot of times we really just want to find the nice things. And that when you talk about assessment, people kind of get this image in their head. <laughs> I was, we, were talking, uh, we were talking the other day or the other week about creating an assessment librarian position. And a lot of us were saying, hmm, who would actually want to be that? Because this is the image that people might have of you. <laughs> as soon as you start talking about Assessing what you're doing, finding the weaknesses, finding what you need to get rid of, of course, you're thinking chopping block. How many of you in this room have someone on your staff who is in charge of assessment? Okay. So three or four three or four organizations have that. How's that going? Great. How's that going? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, but I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, they, they do their thing. Yeah. 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 Who else had their hand up over here? Yeah, how's, how's it going for you guys to have an assessment focused person? Well, um, they have, their title is usability and assessment, 
and they are also tasked with other things like our virtual reference and this is in your library. So. Yeah, in my library. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and I think I think it's really valuable the work that she does, but it ends up isolating her as a librarian compared to the other librarians because she's assessing every everybody's work. So she ends up being you know, like internal affairs. Like the room goes quiet. <laughs> the room goes quiet when she enters the room. Okay. Yeah, I guess. How about you? Um, it's good. The uh, person who's doing it for our campus has us really focusing on projects instead of everything. We're not assessing everything. We choose what we want to assess, and we'll do that for two years or so, and then we want to do something else. So it's a manageable thing. Okay, so you're making choices and finding out David. We are a campus wide person. In the library, I get to see it. But institution wise, we have a person who keeps asking me questions. And I'm continually going back and saying, What do you mean by this question? And then educating them as to what questions they really should be asking. Right. How do those questions translate to the library environment rather than brought just all of the departmental areas? Right. Okay. So, yeah. A lot of us, I often tell our assessment. I'm so glad for that because my mind doesn't always work that way. I actually have a pretty good mind for evaluation and assessment, but I'm happy that there's somebody else out there who has that passion and that gift who wants to do it so that I don't have to. And I'm not saying that to be snarky, but it's just it's nice to have a spectrum of people with talents and expertise. And this is an area that a lot of people think about like this about, but it's nice that there's somebody who's got the energy and the interest to do it. And the, the personality type that makes it less like this, exactly. hopefully, for people. And to be honest, we do have a lot of things going on. And so when you think about um, you know, the ways that you could assess stuff, I mean, I love what you were saying, that this person, you, you choose projects to assess. Uh, because you know, many of us, when we think about our day-to-day -day work, you can assess just about everything you're doing. And so it is a, it's, a, it's a little bit difficult to um, <coughs> to both make choices for focus and also to understand the best ways to do that. Plus, what we find out from people who are really seriously researching this and working at large institutions like Stephen Hiller, who is, uh, does anybody know Stephen Hiller? Okay, good. Um, I don't, but I love what he has written about assessment. He is, um, he is the director of assessment and planning at the University of Washington Libraries. So we're talking, you know, he has a big job here. And he's telling us that really it's a structured process that we need to have a sort of bigger picture. That, uh, and this is one reason why I did not want to just focus on library instruction today. Because I feel as if we're better off if we take a step back a little bit and think about our environments and think about what the experts are saying about how we might structure how we look at our processes and our services and our facilities. So assessment ends up you know involving this structure and it's also a way of learning and I had to quote Wikipedia here because all my students <laughs> plus I think it's really cool that Wikipedia has a section on library assessment. I thought that was I thought we really we really made it there now. <laughs> you are trying to learn, and learning implies what we were talking about before. You want to learn both the good and the bad about what you're doing and about what's happening. And this is, this is taking it way far, but it's a way of life. This makes me think I'm going to go home and start assessing how my kids <coughs> are behaving after a long day at work. Um, Riddell published the article, More Than a Buzzword, Assessment as a Way of Life, in a 2008 issue of Tribal College Journal. Some of you may be familiar. I think that um, particular issue in 2008 of Tribal College Journal was um, focused on assessment. So there are lots, of, you'll see lots of uh, things that I'm citing from there. So all aspects, and uh, the goal is to become better at what you're doing, of course. Lagos and Phipps say that assessment needs to be an organizational part of the organizational culture. 
So in other words, this is not something artificial that we overlay on our things. This is something that we do from the get-go. I don't think we're born knowing this, and we're not, you know, our goal is to serve, right? I think our focus in our day-to-day -day lives at our libraries is frequently <coughs> user focus, which is great, and it's focused on the things we have to get done, and we rarely have the time to step back and take a look at the, the bigger picture and the bigger program. And um, I think what, it, what Legos and Fitz are saying here, really, too, is that this isn't just the director's responsibility. So David, how many staff do you have? About five. So Legos and Fitz would say that it's all six of you need to be doing assessment. What do you think of that? Um, well, it depends on really what activities mm -hmm. you include in the assessment process. We go, uh, collecting statistics, then we all do that. So, you can sort of translate this so that it works in your environment. I think, um, you know, talking about where you make your choices, where you start. If you're not deeply involved already and have a plan in place for assessment, um, that slide where I had things flying in from every direction is, is how our minds are. Well, where on earth will I start this? Um, how do you make your choice? Um, I think at the MSU library, we had a pretty easy choice in the sense that we had a new facility, a new part of our facility that had just been renovated. And it had a really, seemed to be having a really positive impact. So it was a sort of feel good assessment to do. You know, we didn't think we're gonna find out all these incredible weaknesses. And to be honest, we, we didn't really find a lot of weaknesses. We found some things we needed to tweak. Um, but that was where we chose to start one of our assessment projects. It's not the only thing that we've been doing. But you might also say, well, where are a lot of your people involved? And instruction is often one of those heavy load, heavy workload, and therefore expensive services. And so library instruction might be a great place for you to start dabbling in assessment. Going beyond evaluation of how instructors are performing in the classroom and moving more into sort of student focused, student outcomes focused assessment of the learning process. Collections might be another point. And we could make a long list here. The point is, try and make some decisions. And you can't do that without thinking about where you are and talking about where you are. So what I'd really like to see happen here now is for you guys to talk amongst yourselves at your tables and focus on some of these questions. You don't have to go through my questions. But the main thing is to think about how you're doing assessment right now, if you're doing it, what your concerns are, are there obstacles, What's working well? How do you know what's working well at your library? Maybe you're doing more assessment than you realize. And then we'll report out and have a, have a big room discussion. So how about for 15 minutes we focus at our tables and talk about your experiences with assessment, talk about what your concerns are, what you know. <coughs> No, not just about, I mean, you could focus on instruction if you wanted to, but um, really any any kind of assessment that's going on. Okay? And, and please just find a person to report out to people before we go into the